What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one, as always. And we are just cracking right on into this. It is a USPS day, which means I got a wonderful little toy from my good old friends at 16th Outfitters. And in this case, it's one I have been eagerly awaiting. We got my man Bloodsport from So So Toys. Well, we almost did. He's in a, a pretty little package here. But have no fear. And we'll get him out of his hard candy shell and get this fella some air. Uh, now, if you aren't familiar with SoSo -So Toys, which I hope you are at this point, um, they're an amazing third-party company that does a wonderful job with unlicensed stuff. Um, so this particular figure is the tactician uh, but uh, honestly knockout job from everything i've seen i do have the the butcher from the boys i've got homelander pre-ordered so hopefully he'll show up eventually um, and then when i saw that they were doing this fella i jumped on it um, now they they also have one coming from uh, i believe thunder toys is doing one got that there which is a nice little topper um so if you, you weren't too interested in this particular one there is the option you can go with uh, of thunder toys i liked the head sculpt on this a lot better um so for me it just seemed like the uh the winning ticket now hot toys does have a king shark coming out which i am super psyched for uh, and present toys actually has got a polka dot man coming so if you are going for a full suicide squad which and hopefully we'll get done eventually. Uh, we're getting there. I'm really waiting for somebody to do a rat catcher too. Uh, that'll be amazing when that happens. That head sculpt's pretty great. Mm. Uh, we'll take a little better look at him in just a moment. Well, first attempt at standing. Kind of successful. I have a feeling I'm going to knock that over and he's going to fall at some point. Uh, but... We'll see how it goes. Uh, he does have this awesome rifle, which I also feel like I'll probably drop, so we'll just put that there. Uh, nice little pistol. Second head sculpt. And then the bottom tray has a whole bunch of other goodies as well. Now, one thing I'll say about So So is they load you up with stuff. Uh, and in all honesty, I have a good feeling this might be one of those figures that takes me a minute to figure out exactly what the heck I am doing with it. Um, and I say that mainly because he comes with like a modular gun that you should, in theory, be able to put together. Uh, this bottom tray is taped, which would explain why it is not opening as easy as I thought. There we go. Um, and then he's got a whole bunch of extra hands, which, you know, we'll do the usual, we'll take a look at one or two. A standard crotch grabber, but the actual base is pretty dang neat, so we can take a gander at that. And hopefully we can just get a bunch of this little stuff out here. I have a good feeling I'm not going to know how to use the majority of this stuff. I should check if there's some sort of instructions. I feel like there might be. And that may go a long way with this guy. I'm also struggling significantly to get a sword out. Success. And then with this, I should be able to get out all of his other extra goodies. Uh, now he does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra hands. Uh, I am going to pull one out because it is amazing. <laughs> and I love that they did this. Um, and the one that we're going to look at is that one. So if you want him flipping off Waller, uh, you got that option, which... <laughs> Bravo, so so, bravo. Um, honestly, all of the, the hands they did a pretty dang good job of. Um, they all painted them up pretty well. 
really no major complaints there. I mean, I guess you could be super picky and be like, oh, there's a little little paint that leaked over, but for the most part, they're pretty darn good. Um, and you get a good amount of detail on them as well. So I definitely can't complain. I'll probably use that hand at some point. It's it's a little too cool to pass up. Uh, he's got a ton of stuff. We're just going to jump right to the body because I think that's probably the most important thing. Um, there you do have the nice Idris Elba head, uh, which honestly, depending on the angle, looks really, really good. And then sometimes not so much. I think head-on, probably not the best in the world. But I mean, if you get it at you know, certain li certain angles, it's it's a pretty spot-on look. Um, so I definitely don't hate it. Uh, I'm going to keep this one on. I do like the alternate head that you get, the masked version, um, which... Stay there, buddy. Just for reference, there's that. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is plastic, despite looking metallic. They did a really good job on the bottom paint there. And even the detailing with the teeth and everything is really gnarly. Reminds me of a Xenomorph. Which I'm not sure if that was intentional by design, but it definitely gives me that vibe. And that's certainly not a bad thing by any means. Well, there you have that. Back to the main event. Alright, now the outfit, uh, I don't think will really pose any main restrictions to movement at all from the looks of it. I guess he got a little bit in that regard, but he's not the most acrobatic. You're not going to have him doing ninja kicks or anything like that anytime soon. Now mine, so this is interesting, and I'm going to have to play with it a bit. Um, his leg is rotated inward, so right now if I, if I bend the knee, there we go. This took a little wiggle. All right, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have much restriction at all. Uh, this is actually blocked by his little guard there, which I think would be more on the sides normally, so shouldn't really hinder it too much. And it definitely doesn't. So you can get a good amount of bend, bend there. Uh, pretty darn good job with the boots. And they do have the little splits there, so you get the nice ankle movement and all of that good stuff. Uh, now, interestingly, the, uh, the initial outfit described it as having separate boots is one of the accessories, so a little bit of a change there. Uh, the armor, I, I do find it interesting that these straps don't actually click into anything, which isn't terrible by any means, but it does look a little bit odd. You would think that they should, for the most part, be lined up there. That, yeah, that's definitely a bit strange. So it is kind of picky. It's not anything to really hate the figure about, but these should essentially have a way of locking in, and I don't think they're going to. Um, suppose in theory there might be now you can't really tell but it's pretty much smooth on the bottom of those so it's not like they really lock in by any means you can kind of press them into place and they stay uh, but from the back it looks a little weird and I do think that's going to make them a little loose as you move them around over time um, so that is a bit of a bummer in that regard, kind of a little bit of a wardrobe fail. Maybe there is a way to stick them there, and I'm just too stupid to realize it. Uh, there's like a 90% chance that's the, the reality of the situation, but I almost feel like it just... I can't imagine they were supposed to be glued. It looks like they should snap underneath it, but they just don't. Um, so a little bit, little bit of a bummer there. Uh, but I probably spent too much time complaining about that, so we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, it does have real good mobility in the uh, the arms, and really no restriction from the outfit. It's probably, I mean, it feels like spandex or nylon, so it's really not going to get in the way much at all. That should be a little higher up. There we go. Not much wiggle room in the wrists, which might just be because of the armor. Yeah. 
once the armor's moved, you can get a little bit more play there, but not a ton just because of his little uh, gauntlets. Slide those guys back up. Um, overall, I'm not terribly upset with it by any means. I do dislike this part of his armor, so I might try and figure out a way to, to clip him on. What I might end up doing, in all honesty, is just, I don't know, maybe I'll glue him. The big worry I have is just over time they're going to separate so much to where it, it looks like a weird separate rib cage. I mean, you can kind of almost get what I'm talking about just looking at it on this side. But, not bad by any means. I am really digging the head sculpt the more I look at it. Especially the uh, little salt and pepper action they gave on his hair. They did a good job with that. Well done in that regard. All right. Now let's take a look at the actual accessories here. So this was the uh, the base that I was talking about. Pretty straightforward, but I love that little design there. Definitely cool. And no actual nameplate on it, which I have often said that I am fine with. I do wish... Let's see if I can get... And maybe it's supposed to, but I'm wondering... I almost feel like they uh, should have designed that part of the logo to kind of match up with the gun. Basically made little handles there on his face. I'm stupid. I just think it would have been neat. Alright, let's take a look at all of this fun stuff. I guess we could start with this little baby guy. You do get this tiny little feller here. So if you want him to have this nice little single shot, you got that. I mean, it probably shoots more than one, but... A little baby gun. Um, he does also have his hammer, which is cool. Uh, so you could whip that around. They refer to it as a hammer, even though it's very clearly more of a flail. And I guess even a... would be a groat. So you could certainly strangle people with that without much problem. Cool that he's got it. I was honestly confused when I was reading the description of what, you come, what it came with, because it mentioned a hammer, and I'm like, I don't remember him having a hammer at all, but... Now that I see this, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, makes sense. And then we got this big clunker. Um, <laughs> this thing is awesome. I mean, it's just a, a beautiful, massive joy. Uh, this thing is really, really neat. I love that this rotates. Uh, the paint on it is phenomenal. It is plastic, which is okay. And no real movable parts other than that. Uh, but I don't mind. They could have made this swivel a bit, but I think if they did, um, it would have really just dropped down every time he was holding it, because uh, it is pretty front-heavy there. Um, I digress. <laughs> you, of course, get the smaller version as well, um, which this one's pretty darn cool. Again, plastic. Uh, really good job with the paint on it. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love this gun. Soso -so does really good jobs with their accessories. Honestly, they do really good job, job with uh, pretty much everything. Save armor. <laughs> you get these fellers here. And I believe these are all supposed to be part of the, the modular gun, which, uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's actually any way to connect them. Um... I wish there was. I believe the uh, 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 the other version that's coming out, the Thunder Toys one, I think, actually comes with components, so you can kind of take the small gun, plug it into one piece, add, add more stuff until you get that, that big fella, um, which is kind of neat. Not so much on that guy, but you get all the little components, so you can kind of have it posed at uh, whatever point you want. And the sword they did a really good job with. Also plastic, but definitely has a nice metal look. And it's got a little bit of a good poke there, so kind of nice. Actually, did a really good job making it look like it's edged, too. I'm impressed with things like that. The handle's nothing special, but it really isn't in the show either, so... By show, I mean movie. <laughs> uh, but, all things considered, 
definitely digging it. Uh, so this would be, I'm not going to take it out because I don't really need to, but this is just an extra neck in case you were using this. So that part would sit on there. It's magnetic, so it actually does that just nice, nice and easy. Um, and then that would plop into the body. So if you were wondering about the head connection on this guy, it is going to be kind of the normal mushroom peg that you get for most Hot Toys figures and things of the like. Um, so head swapping, you'd be able to do it depending on what types of bodies and stuff you use. Overall, though, I, I definitely do think it's a cool figure. Um, now, he is a bit pricey. I ended up spending, I think, 220 on him through 1-6 Outfitters. They do have him still available. Uh, you might be able to get him a little cheaper through Giant Toy, but I'm not sure if they are still in stock over there. Um, but definitely worth checking out, because if you can save money, always a good thing to do. Um, and, of course, you know, there are certainly other options. eBay, 1-6 Kit, all of those good places will more than likely have them. Um, I don't think he was made in nearly as limited of a run as, like, the Gambit figure. Uh, so I, I do think you're going to be able to find him for at least a little while. Um, but if you're planning on building up a Suicide Squad, he's definitely a cool one to get. Uh, also, now that they've upgraded the Peacemaker that Hot Toys is releasing, you know, having them square off might be kind of a fun one. Uh, but, you know, if not, not the end of the world. Definitely not something I think you need to have. Uh, but he was one of my favorite characters from the movie, so why the heck not? Well, thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.